That's right. It's time for our weekly injury report, and we are joined now by Dr. Dennis Lars. Good morning, doctor. How are you? I am great. How are you guys? We're doing really well this morning, and let's get right to it. We got a couple of stars in the National Basketball Association with injuries that they're dealing with. John Wall, the Washington Wizards. Now, they're out of the playoffs, but he had five non-displaced fractures in his hands, decided not to have surgery. Just tell us a little bit about maybe why he made that decision, what impact this uh, has on him going forward. The uh, non-displaced fractures uh, are commonly treated conservatively. Um, if you've got one, generally the pinky, it's, it's your classic boxer type uh, uh, fracture. Uh, he had five, which is, uh, of course, um, the entire hand. As long as they're non-displayed, meaning that they're they're still in good alignment, you can buddy tape them, and usually you can get through. Uh, playing without much difficulty. I'm sure it's painful, but uh, basketball isn't the impact such as boxing where where the, the pain is going to be excruciating to continue. But there's precedence for even doing that. But uh, he, he should do well as long as they're non-displaced with, uh, and he has the time to heal that uh, he should do well. Doctor, another NBA star who is playing in the Eastern Conference Final, Kyrie Irving of the Cleveland Cavaliers, he's got that left tendon, or left knee tendonitis and a right foot strain. This seemed to bother him uh, in the other previous playoff series as well. So as this, uh, as this series goes on, will this become more and more of a problem for him? Well, it, it could be. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a base tendonitis, uh, a lot of um, basketball players are prone to the patellar tendon uh, or jumpers need, as they call it, uh, becomes uh, irritated and inflamed. When when they jump and land, they come down on it wrong, and oftentimes it becomes a chronic repetitive uh, use injury. But being that it's the playoffs, a lot of people raise their game, and, and they can kind of tune out the pain. And, and there's been quite a few stars that have had just uh, incredible series playing injured. So some people raise their game to a higher level uh, during the, the playoffs and championship uh, games with these type of injuries. But should he fall or the wrong way, then, then he could really aggravate it. The other thing is that if there's an underlying other problem, such as a meniscus tear or something else that we don't know of, then it could be much more uh, uh, difficult for him and really hamper his play. We're getting our weekly injury report with Dr. Dennis Locks. And uh, Dr. Drew Smiley, the left-handed pitcher for the Rays, has a torn labrum. He has decided to try to pitch through it. Now, he got a cortisone shot. It's going to be a while before he's able to do that. What would that do to, to help him recover, and what are the chances that he would be effective if he, if he attempts this? Well, the cortisone shot uh, should uh, help him get through it. Uh, generally, they put uh, an anesthetic uh, in with the corticosteroid to decrease the inflammation, but it's not going to change the underlying problem he's got. Um, it, it may just get him through the game, and, and a lot of players can. And, and when we chatted about that, uh, uh, I believe last week, it, it didn't surprise me that the fact that they had a, a thinned out uh, pitching rotation, that he made the call that he wasn't going to have the surgery. Right. Uh, so it, it, it doesn't surprise me at all that that ended up happening. Dr. Dennis Locks, our weekly injury report. Thanks so much, Doc. Safe travels. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you.